morning everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for another full self-driving drive. We are doing our test route one this morning. We are on our way headed up to Michigan and um, yeah, we're um, gonna have a long, long ride today. It's gonna be probably 14 hours. Um, I think it really is like 11 to 12 hours of driving, but when you add in charging and extra stops. It's going to be about 14 hours. Um, we're going to be going past uh, Dirty Tesla's uh, stomping grounds in Ann Arbor. We're actually going to north of that, north of Lansing. But um, shout out to Chris. Uh, I don't, didn't ask to meet up or anything. I don't think I'm going to have time, but uh, I wish we could. That'd be, that'd be sweet if we, we could. But um, uh, yeah, we're going to see how it does this morning. Uh, so it turns out, I didn't re understand that this type of road resurfacing is literally they put tar down, they put a thin layer of gravel, and then the car is compact to gravel. And that's it. There, there's no like black top that goes on top of that. that they, that's literally how, <laughs> that's how the road goes. Um, so, um, let's see if it's going to do the same weird braking behavior here. No. Yeah, I think that was just something to do with the daylight, maybe. Someone left a pizza box on there. Nice. Okay. Improved defog auto. In Interesting. Um, they auto detect this now. That's a new feature. So, I, um. Let's see what I'm gonna say. I, uh, like to use manual. Uh, on my merge left, right lane closed. Oh, no, wait, it, it, it thought it was a cone in the road and then it canceled it. Okay, anyways, we're gonna, pretty sure, well, actually, pretty sure we're gonna need to uh, actually manually change lanes because of the highway, um, highway construction. They probably did construction overnight. Anyways, back to this. So I normally do um, uh, manual. I just this is far more efficient for my car because I don't have a heat pump um, unless you're in the summertime, of course. Um, which we're basically over. It's 58 degrees this morning. You don't need heat really per se, really. Um, but I do need ventilation so my windows don't fog up. So I just keep it as fan of one, which keeps the um, resistive heater at the lowest amount of power with uh, sucking in outside air. And it's not a problem. The windows don't fog up as long as I leave it on that. And also, the reason they fog up is because my dog is in the back. Onyx is coming with us the whole way, way up, and so he will fog up the windows pretty bad. Um, let's see what it's gonna do with this truck right here. It should, yeah, see, it should get over. It's, um, I think legally you're supposed to do that. If if you have room to get over, you have to get over for something like that. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. And since we have to stay in this lane, uh, we're gonna go ahead and stay in this lane. These are the type of interventions, like, as a human, I can just, I know I can intervene beforehand and probably for prevent a disengagement. So, it kind of could be considered cheating, but not really. When it, when we want to have level three, that's going to be considered cheating. Um, when we're trying, like when when they say hey, or like let's say um, they allow us to do hands off, but vision like uh, vision like the camera detection, so it'll make sure we're paying attention. Um, it, it seems like this heuristic is still here when it has a bunch of cones on the road. Go ahead and slow down, because I'm not about to get a, uh, not about to get a ticket this morning. I was trying to brake really hard because of this truck right here. I can't tell, were they placing those cones out? Or, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to time lapse you for the rest of this highway section and then we'll bring you back. Ok, 
Okay, so it's saying my camera is occluded because it's really dark outside. So it's not going to lane change here when it catches up to this truck. So I'm going to have to manually... Oh. I stand corrected. Um, either the car recovers quicker from the you know, occluded camera issue or when the camera that it needs to change lanes isn't included, it can now change lanes now. It, did, it used to be when you got that message it wouldn't change lanes at all, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but um, yeah, we're gonna see what this does, I guess. Uh, hopefully, see, see right now, we're going just fast enough to where I will stay in the left lane and continue passing this truck. Especially when I see this car getting on the on-ramp here. Uh, I definitely don't want to be getting over because the truck's probably going to have to slow down a little bit. So a lot of times it's been trying to get in the left lane. I, that still happened on this. I think it was it. No, sorry, it was 11 out of 3 to 6. I haven't done this yet. Wow. That's not good. Not good at all. It, wh why is it taking so long to exit right there? Like, it waited till the very last second. We were crossing over the line at, at the end. That's like a, about as bad as it's ever been. Maybe except for the first time we did this on the 11 series. Like, the 11 series made that exit worse. Uh, so that's, I mean, that's clearly a regression um, over over the 10s. But maybe it's because also I would manually lane change half the time right there. Um, it needs to get over sooner, uh, is what it needs to do. Okay, it was braking seemingly... F I'm guessing it thought that car ahead was closer than it really was. And so that's why it braked so much. And so just to be transparency, you can't really see my foot right now. Normally I try and keep my foot in view so you can see if I'm pressing the pedal. And I was pressing the pedal to keep it from braking more. When it breaks that hard, uh, then I always make sure I press the pedal to keep it, you know, for safety reasons. Because there could be a car behind me, you know, obviously less likely at this time of the day. But um, very possible there could be a car back there. Don't want to be rear-ended. Boo! We caught, caught this light r red at 5 a.m. Oh, police car. We should definitely not speed. <laughs> okay, guys. This is going to be a test as if we're going to be able to there's a no right on red sign right here. This is going to be our disengagement unless it turn. It is turning green. So we got lucky because I'm pretty sure it wasn't going to stay stopped. Um, this is the like one of the few spots where I have that no right on red. There's a lot of spot on Main Street on my uh, uh, Hendersonville downtown Hendersonville test. And I guess we're just going to go as slow as this car. I'm going to. Because I'm impatient and I want to get to where I'm going today. We're going to have a long drive. We're going to pass this car. Besides the point that I like being in the left lane anyway right here. Um, it, this is the better lane to be in. But for where I'm going, it should be in this lane already at this point. Uh, it needs to think that far ahead. Like, we need to be in the left lane. Oh, man. Um, so, because we're making a left turn up here. We're going to be in the left lane up here. So we need to be already in the left lane, that far back. I hope uh, the planner, once it has full neural nets, will plan that far ahead. You know, maybe it will. What it will probably do is learn that hey, human pilot, change lanes back here. I have a left turn coming up. Maybe I should start changing lanes that far back, and then it's going to learn over time. I, I suspect by this time next year, it's going to do that. I I hope. That's that's my hope. Okay, so good. It got in the correct lane. It's gonna stay in this lane. I haven't, again, I haven't done this route since, um, so I'm pressing it through the bike and blinking yellow. Okay, I have the press pedal. 
Hey, heck yes, that's an improvement. Still not perfect because it's, the blinkers are going all over the place. It's really hesitant for the blinking yellow. Um, but that was really, that was an improvement over the, the previous version, no doubt. So I'm glad to see that, everyone. That's um, that's what we need to see. So that that's one thing they said in 11.4.1 is that routing, um, would be improved. I want to say they said something about intersections being improved, but may, maybe not. But definitely routing um, would be improved uh, about lane selection and everything. And that was improved. It stayed in the left lane right there. And it chose the correct lane going for the intersection. It doesn't need to change lanes like with blinkers. It just needs to stay in the correct lane. The left lane that I was in is the correct lane for that. Anyone uh, local will get in the left lane. Anyone out of state is every time I have multiple videos showing this it's always someone out of the area that's either out of state or well obviously out, out of state um, and they would always get in the right of the left turn lanes and then it causes traffic issues because you, you have to like zipper merge and people don't do that and some people just are as you know not not good individuals and um, they will try and cut in front of you using that lane Let's see how it does in the final turn. And this is improved. It got over at the appropriate time instead of a little bit late. I didn't like that it swung a little bit right right there, but that was a good turn overall. So yeah, everyone, this is complete. Uh, zero disengagements. We are back to zero disengagements. I can't say it's the best it's ever done this route. Um, strictly because of the highway exit. But then again, I didn't do that manually. I, I'm not going to call it the best it's ever done yet, but this is one of the best, no doubt. One of the best it's ever done this route. Um, it is also, you know, in the morning there's no traffic, so it's a little bit unfair. But that intersection for sure has been improved, traffic or not. I've done that with no traffic before, um, and it's not, wasn't good. But this is the best for sure. It's uh, ever done that intersection, and uh, one of the best ever has done this. So this is awesome. Uh, if you guys have questions for me, Put them down below, and I will see you in the next video. Actually, bonus turn. Um, I don't know why it stopped there. Limited max speed for road type. Interesting. Okay, anyways, yeah. We will uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.